there is an unsettling feeling in the air that if you're freely Jewish, you're not totally safe. No, it's not the 1930s. Anti-Semitism in France has been on the rise since the Intifada began in September 2000. Scenes such as these have become all too common to our Jewish brethren overseas. In response to the several hundred acts of anti-Semitism over the last two to three years, the Jewish community has retracted, has moved a bit back inside as a result of what's going on outside. And our mission is to bring them back outside, give them the tools to feel proud of being Jewish, giving them the possibility to live as Jews openly in this environment. People ask, why do the Jews remain in France? Well, the answer is that a family of four or six cannot just pick themselves up and reroute to another part of the world. It is not that simple. There's work-related issues, there's family life, there are older parents perhaps involved, and this is where people were born and raised. We are here to make a Jew feel good about their Jewishness, be able to live their Jewishness in a good, positive way. One step at a time, one program at a time, one class at a time. That is the answer to today's problem. In 1947, the previous Lubavitch Rebbe asked my grandfather, Grand Rabbi Benjamin Gardetsky, to go to Paris to open up the Lubavitch office for Europe and North Africa. That was a very unique era. Europe was coming out of World War II, and the Jewish community was in need of the basic necessities, such as housing, finding work, education for their children. They gave the Jewish community the foundation to start a new life. And today, over 50 years later, we see the fruits of our efforts. The Jewish community in France is vibrant. There are over 60 Chabad centers and various other institutions that are there to serve the Jewish community. The beauty of walking into a kindergarten class of 15 children learning, whether it be the Aleph Bays or a Jewish history story or a story leading up to an upcoming holiday is beautiful. You go out to a city like Lyon or Marseille in the middle of France and you go into a Jewish day school run by Chabad and you see children studying their Jewish heritage and culture, it's just a wonderful thing to see. And this is what we are doing to fend off anti-Semitism. We are educating our youth so when they become older, they feel good about being Jewish. I'm both very sad and angry about uh, what's going on in Europe and Israel. I need an outlet to at least do something to help. Through Chabad, I feel like I'm helping to strengthen our people. It's a feeling of pride. Because of what's going on, because of all the negativity, the youth today, a lot of them are coming back and saying, wait a second, where am I from and where am I going? And we at Chabad are there to give them those answers. We give them the lecture series, holiday awareness programs leading up to every holiday, and then there are the classes which are given on a daily and weekly basis. You know, my son, he loves to go to the Chabad. He, he plays with his Jewish friends. Voila. Sometimes I'm learning with the rabbi. It gives me a chance to explore my Judaism. A Chabad center is a place where someone can come and feel Jewish without the constraints of what's going on outside, without having to look over their shoulder or being, or being afraid of what's going on. The Rebbe has taught us that every single Jew is important. There is a famous story that a woman was waiting online for over three hours to receive a blessing and a dollar for charity from the Rebbe. She asked the Rebbe, how does he do it, standing for five or six hours at a time on his feet? The Rebbe answered that when a diamond merchant counts his diamonds, he doesn't tire. Every single Jew is a diamond. Every single Jew has what to offer. And once that spark is ignited, the Jew feels that he can be Jewish. And being Jewish in France is an issue. 
We must educate the youth that they can grow up being Jewish. We at Chabad feel that we must give the children, especially the children, the feeling that they must be proud to be Jewish, proud of their Jewish heritage, proud of their Jewish culture, and continue living a full life being Jewish and feeling Jewish. Going to Chabad is a place I feel that I belong. There is chimcha, there is joy. And even though my knowledge of Judaism is not so good, I, I feel great. They, they welcome me, you know. Our sole purpose is not to fight anti-Semitism, but the best way to fight the anti-Semitism that does exist is to create a vibrant, healthy Jewish community that functions properly, that feels good about itself, and that is headed in the right direction. We are at a unique time in history doing what Jews have always done, learning, giving charity, looking out for one another. We have the opportunity now, and we have the obligation to send a clear message to the world that the Jewish community will not tolerate anti-Semitism. If history has taught us anything, it's that when the Jewish nation is unified, we can and we will flourish.